Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel for another Trinity Stamps video. Today we're going to be making a clean and simple scene for some cute characters. Normally I am not one to make scenes for characters on my card fronts only because I tend to really lean toward a clean and simple style and I feel like it's sometimes hard to make these scenes clean and simple but the one that we're going to be making today goes really well with clean and simple cards. I'm going to be using Rhino Bird Day stamp set, and I'm taking a lot of inspiration from the card grotto. Her name is Michelle, and she is one of my absolute favorite card designers. I love her clean and simple style, and I love the look of this card, so I'm going to be using that as my inspiration today. I don't have the same die cut shape that she used to mask off her card for her scene, but I do have this dome shape die that comes from a snow globe set that I have. So I'm going to be creating a mask for my card front. So I've got two pieces of 110 pound cardstock, both cut to three and three quarters by five inches. I'm going to go ahead and partially die cut this dome piece because I want it to come down a little bit further than it is right now. So I'm going to hang off the part from the sandwich in my die cutting machine that I don't want to be cut. So the only place that it's going to cut is for what I put through the die cutting machine in between those sandwich plates. So I'll show you what that did. I did leave some hanging off as you saw. So anything that was hanging off did not get cut because it wasn't sent through that sandwich or inside the sandwich on the die cutting machine. To remedy that and to make it come down a little bit farther, I'm going to use this rectangle die, which is roughly the same size as the width of the dome. It is ever so slightly smaller, but I am going to remedy that with an X-Acto knife. And you don't have to do this step at all. If you don't have a, a shape die like this, you could just carefully cut it out with an X-Acto knife the entire thing. But since I had these dies, I figured I would give it a try. I'm going to use this one and send this through my die cutting machine upside down um, and that's just so that I can line it up exactly where I want it to stop cutting because I don't want it to cut above that line. Because it's just a little bit smaller I do need to take my X-Acto knife and I'm just going to use the edge of that die to guide myself and cut down from where it stopped cutting just to make sure that I get the closed circle or half circle or flat bottom circle. I'm not quite sure, but this dome shape here. Since I'm going to be using it as a mask on my card front, the only part of the card front I want to have any of this scene is this open section here. So I'm taking a repositionable double-sided tape and I'm going to adhere it to the top of my card front. I'm going to mask off with some painter's tape where I want my grass to be, and then I'm going to start ink blending the sky. I also don't have a cloud stencil, and I didn't realize that until now, but I'm using these cloud dies, and I've cut two different ones from the top and bottom of a piece of cardstock, and I'm going to use this as a stencil. I'm using Broken China for from Distress Oxide, or a Distress Oxide ink in Broken China for my uh, sky. And I'm just going upwards with that handmade cloud stencil that I created. It's always really nice when you can get a little bit crafty and use supplies that you already have to create supplies or something that you need, which is really what I did with this entire card. I'm going to hold a piece of paper just where my sky ended so that I can blend uh, cracked pistachio as my grass color and it's a little bright. I'm going to go in a little bit with a Copic marker and add some detailing, but this is just what I have for the moment. Now I'm going to tear this off carefully and then I'm just going to run my finger over the card front so that it removes that repositionable adhesive. It's really easy, it just comes right off when you rub it and you don't have to worry about it tearing the paper. 
I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink to do some stamping, and that's because I'll be Copic coloring. Memento Tuxedo Black is a Copic safe ink, meaning that it won't make the alcohol or the alcohol in Copic markers won't make the ink run. I'm going to speed this up and do some simple coloring. I'm using a few different colors for my balloons and my birds, but I don't go into too much detail. It's a nice simple card. I'm also giving this as a child's birthday card. So I'm using some bright colors and I just thought I would keep it a little bit simple. I end up using only two of these birds. I use a yellow one and then one of the blue ones. And I'm using two different colors for each of the balloons. Just that way you get a little bit of dimension. It looks a little bit shiny, like it's reflecting light. I'm also going to go in in just one second with a white gel pen, and I'm going to add some reflection marks on the balloons. And this just helps it look a little bit more shiny, like you would assume that a balloon would appear. I'm using the coordinating dies for this set to cut out all of my little images. So I'm cutting out my three birds and I'll have to send this through the die cutting machine a few times with that balloon die just to make sure I can cut out all of them. I'm using my mini Misty to stamp my sentiment, which I'm using it's your bird day. And just like Michelle did on her card, I'm going to do it at the bottom right hand portion of that scene. And I'm using my mini Misty because just in case I don't get a good impression, I can stamp it again. But also this allows me to be able to line up my stamp before I go ahead and stamp it. If I was just using an acrylic block, I would really only get one shot and I hope that it's straight. With the mini Misty, I get a minute to sort of fix my stamp. So I went in there with some Copic markers, YG67 and YG09, just to add a little bit of dimension and detailing to that grass. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere all of these die cuts with foam tape. I glued those balloons together so they looked like they were in a bunch, and then I used foam tape to adhere the entire bunch of balloons to the card front. I'm using this really fine lettering a black pen to do some lines or some strings from the balloons to the bird's wing and it's going to look like the balloons are floating him right up into the air. I'm using foam tape around the entire perimeter and in the center of the card front and I'm going to adhere it to an A2 size card base and that will give me a nice size border which I really love the look of. So here is the completed card. I want to take a second and thank Michelle again for her inspiration. If you don't follow her on Instagram, I will link it in the description. And as always, all of my information as well as the links to all of the products are in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Thank you.